Well, I usually write or speak in, in this forum and other kind of non-U.S. Uh, venues to provide what I've uh, fooled some people thinking uh, into thinking is expertise, or uh, kind of as an interpreter from the uh, belly of the beast. Um, but I'm thinking now it might be a good time to be a foreigner in looking at these events, you know, because you have to zoom out to see a larger picture. And Americans are stuck in a sort of terminal adolescence and constantly uh, miss perspective. They don't see it. Uh, and we'll wind up learning the wrong lessons, as we always seem to do. Um, but U.S. voters need to look at this closely. This is what the U.S. government does to countries around the world on a daily basis. There's no political consciousness, no remorse. The U.S., through a CIA and other proxy means, has been complicit in over 80 coups and manipulated elections worldwide all the time. I mean, this is, you know, think of Moscow, 93, with tanks shelling the Duma, with the U.S. having proudly had some hand in that. And uh, uh, the U.S. power structure has the audacity to start the Russia blame game again. This is what th these democracy uh, peddlers are uh, ladling out for the whole world. And now, why would they be um, exempt from it? It turns out they're not. And when you hear them talk in their, in their, in their overblown kind of self-inflating language about the vaunted halls of democracy, this self-important propaganda, was it shocking? Uh, yeah, of course it was to see this happening, uh, you know, on, on, on live TV. But it, it, it sounds a little like Al Pacino from, uh, from The Godfather. They came to my home. My bedroom, where my wife sleeps, right? where my children come to play with their toys. It is it, 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 these sacred halls, they keep saying the temple of democracy. It is from these sacred halls that troops are dispatched to destroy country after country. It is in this temple of democracy that they vote constantly to strip people of their dignity, not only uh, abroad but at home as well, of food, of housing, of medical care, their very lives, right? So, I mean, part of the reaction has to be get over yourself and look at what your democracy really is, not just in this binary view of Trump versus non-Trump. Is Trump a narcissist? Of course he is. But to lay this all at the feet of one demented mango, uh, I, heard, I like that one, it's nonsense. You don't have to condone or support mob rule to point out uh, a few things. Um, one, I've been to dozens of marches on the Capitol, uh, uh, you know, uh, rallies, all this stuff. We couldn't get within three blocks of the um, sacred temple of democracy. It was just not possible. They're phalanx of, uh, of, of troops with horses and all this. Um, and this was not a surprise. It was planned. It was all over Parler, apparently, this um, free speech blog and Facebook, everything. And where were the cops? I mean, what if, if, if these were uh, BLM protesters, they uh, would have been mowed down, you know, as happens in all these other countries with, um, you know, sharpshooters paid by the CAA or hired by Saakashvili, whatever. I mean, this is not um, normal, and it's really important to point that out, the difference in treatment. This is, uh, in, in fact, you can see an older picture of the Capitol during a BLM protest. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> it's quite frightening. There's like three rings of troops on the steps, um, and that's how it's happened. This, this thing with the militias has been happening all over the country. These violently storming state capitals with impunity and left protests. Um, th there are people like whisked up in unmarked vans to God knows where that we later find out were un, uh, unlabeled cops. Not Trump. <laughs> this is the state, you know. What happened here will take 
some investigation. Why? That is a legitimate question. Why was this allowed to happen? I mean, you, you have to use the phrase allowed to happen because it doesn't make any sense. Otherwise, it, 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 in, to what end? It's a, you know, but don't count on any investigation because the U.S. corporate media is an even bigger joke than the archaic election system. You know, just spouting nonstop propaganda disguised as news 24-7. It's absolutely unwatchable. It's, it really is um, painful to listen to. There's zero news reporting and editorializing over and over and over again, just bashing um, the uh, uh, people's like fragile consciousness into believing what the state narrative is supposed to be. And again, to dismiss these, these are just kind of uh, silly, inept, deluded crackers. Uh, just it, it misses the point. If the, if the takeaway is that our democracy is sacred and we uh, believe this crap about the uh, uh, sacred temple of democracy and, and, and the halls of justice and blah, 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 and it has to be protected at all costs, um, <laughs> and it's under a, a threat by a few wackos on the far right, then the war machine uh, wins, I think. I mean, there is... There is an ongoing crisis of legitimacy, not not limited to Trump or his brand of white supremacist faux populism, but a deep knowledge that the government does not represent or care about or or deliver to the people. And this kind of you know theater insurrection is is, is almost a sort of inoculation, like um, don't try this at home. I think the real takeaway should be not necessarily about November 3rd or this or that irregularity, this or that state. I think that's also missing the point. The system is such a shit show that all elections are a sham. We've been saying this. Now we're not allowed to say that anymore. Now now the, now the election system is perfect. It's a joke. It's a worldwide joke, this archaic fraud. It's an oligarchy. It's not a democracy. And Biden arises in this climate as, as a Manchurian uh, a plant, a, like an installed restoration of the old order, blunting this huge impetus for change that was both left and right. Huge impetus on Medicare for all, on, on people's need to, be, to, to, to stop being uh, pummeled uh, and impoverished by austerity. Everyone forgot about this? Everyone uh, forgot what happened to the, the Sanders uh, movement? Biden didn't win anything. You know, the primaries kept being canceled. They had this whole thing about the pandemic. It is, you know, <laughs> it is unfathomable that he legitimately won the Democrat nomination. And, of course, you can't, you can't run in the final election without the Democrat nomination or one of, one of the two. And I think that that, that that needs to be said. It's not doublespeak to say all this, to point this out sharply without saying that you're, you know, uh, you're being accused of condoning violence. Okay, by, by the way, violence fomented inside these hallowed chambers vastly outweighs what's going on outside. I think this is, these, these people spend trillions of dollars bombing the crap out of the rest of the world. This is a volcano of violence, a pulse, pulsar spouting out violence nonstop. So it, 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 it doesn't mean that you share the white supremacist leanings of many of these people with their Gadsden flags and all this crap. But this, it, it, it has to be said, you know. But the sad thing is we're already losing the propaganda war as the, all of the media is in lockstep. And it is designed to give Biden the legitimacy that he and all the institutions of power sadly lack right now. It's, it's as if the war party always wins. People are heavily propagandized. There's this avalanche, a veritable tsunami of uh, brainwashing that keeps people's minds saturated all the time with... You know, uh, democracy good, Trump bad, 
da 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 move forward, don't rock the boat, stay inside. Um, but, you know, <laughs> that also reminds me of uh, the, an old Seinfeld thing. He said, no, no matter how famous you are, right, you get 90 seconds to start making the audience laugh or you are gone. And that is true of this, of the old order, the restoration. They, they have to pony up, and they won't. People are hungry, people are angry, and material conditions matter. Marx was right. Wissen geht durch den Magen. Wisdom comes from the gut. So you, you can zoom out and see that bigger picture. Russia says that it's, this is evidence of the U.S. decline. And a, um, a friend asked me, is, is, that, is that true or are the Russians daydreaming? And I said, both. <laughs> Not really tongue-in-cheek. Right? We don't know. It's, this is evolving. It's hard. You don't want to be locked in to one analysis because it's changing uh, all the time. Um, but it, it's both. We don't know how long that 90 seconds is in historic time, but I think we're going to find out, and that right soon, as the scripture says.